Hey all this whistling film. I've uh, I just realized something. This is gonna be a serious vlog and and in general my vlogs are gonna be more serious than they were the last time I did a Wisdom Fellow channel. So even though I'm a hilarious guy, I I will talk about some pretty serious things too. Um as I record this, it's uh, just before eight AM and I'm about to uh, take my sleep, my daily sleep. Um, I went to uh, work out this morning, the program that I told you I was starting on, at 5.30. So 5.30 to 6.30 a.m. I'm doing a workout program for at least the next 12 weeks. I might do it longer. I might do the next session and just keep keep doing it. But um, I've committed to 12 weeks. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, I'm going to try the morning. Try to always get the 5.30. But the way the commitment rolls with um, Dubs. Because Dubs, that's the name of the, the, the leader, the coach. Um, the way the commitment goes is you commit for the day. You don't co commit to a certain time. And though, when you join a class... Hopefully you'll be there, but he offers it at 5.30, then at 6.30, and then at 6 p.m. So he offers three sections for men, so if I do miss one, then I can go later that day. That's how the commitment works. But I'm committed to that for, for 12 weeks. Um, ran a little bit, did sit-ups, push-ups, squats. Not very many. Um, when he starts the group, he talks about how leave your pride at the door. It's not pride. You know, if you're not the best, you'll get better. That's what the point is. You'll your improve improvement. Um, and he mentions, you know, some people be the fastest, some people be the slow slowest, and you know, it you're not racing the next guy. That kind of thing. And that sounds really great right at first. And then we do it, and you know what I found out? I'm the last in everything that we did. I mean, when we were jogging back and forth, I was the last. But there's there's an encouragement level, you know, and there's camaraderie. Nobody there is to make you feel bad. You got a lot of, way to go, Phil. Keep going, Phil. You know, good job, Phil. Um, stuff like that. But when I was, so it was the most workout I've done since I was probably in grade school. I mean, I know I, I'd run around and play games and stuff until like 7th grade maybe. Um, so I, I haven't done anything since I was like 13. And um, just the, the uh, warm up. Made me sweat, got me out of breath, I was just tired. But I pushed through, pushed through for the entire hour when we did different things. Um, but what, when I was driving home, I was praying out loud, thinking, God, you know, I've been. And praising God that I'm able to do this, you know, that I'm that I'm going to be a better person and and there were attacks against my body because yeah, you're gonna feel tired, but I was feeling all of a sudden I started feeling really, really hot. Not only just hot like just warm and I was feeling like Lightheaded, nauseous. I was like, okay. So I pulled over the car, pulled in the parking lot to call Avery. But, um, like she said, this is normal. She did the last section of this group, uh, the women's class in the evening. And um, she said, the first few days, first couple weeks, you're going to be tired. And it's normal to feel nauseous, even. I mean, she said people, some of the people who've never worked out, they, they got sick. You know, I mean, it happens. 
but push through it. You know, you push through it. And that's my personality, to push through things. I don't give up. Never like to give up. When somebody gives me an excuse, yeah, and I say, oh, you don't have to do this, then I might not do it. That's happened to me before. This is not one of those times. It hurt like a poop. My legs are still aching a little bit, and I still feel kind of out of it. I'm exhausted. And I'm, it's going to be good to sleep today. But um, I'm going to push through it. And for the better. Because I'm not always going to be last. It's n not about first or last. It's about improvement. And still, like, I'm human. I'm going to want to try to be better. To not be the last. And won't be. And I've got I've got this skinny flap thing going on. I everybody's like has mentioned how skinny I am. My pants are falling off of me and all. I mean, my whole life I've been. To me, that's kind of been a plague. I mean, being skinny. And I'm gonna stay skinny. I'm probably gonna gain weight. Like Avery said, because I'm going to gain some muscle up here. My legs are going to get muscled. Um, and that little boot I got going on, it's going to firm up, you know? And that's a side effect. It's also, this physical exertion, it's changed. It just just to, after one day, I'm seeing stuff about me... That I'm. That I. I should not mention, and I won't mention, on a public blog, public vlog. But um, this is going to bring stuff out. It just is. Because I've never, never had a physical thing like this. And um, okay. If you've listened all the way through this, I'll tell you something funny, okay? Nah, I really won't. I could, but that would be mean to somebody else. And I, No. No, nothing funny is in my mind right now. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I am going to try to do vlogs every day and I'm going to hopefully do some that are funny again because I, I want that's really my goal one of my goals is to get back to doing vlogs because probably none of you were fans my first time around on the channel um in 2000 Three, two thousand five, maybe. I don't know. Yep, probably six, five or six years ago. Um, was when I kind of stopped. But I used to vlog like three or four little bits a day. I mean, I had hundreds, and I want to get back to that again. And I want to make people laugh, but it's it's when people laugh that they're going to come back and hear the stuff. It's it's like it's like how a preacher works. When you give a sermon, you kind of pepper in the the jokes to keep your audience involved, so that they hear the good stuff, so they get to the message. You. Uh, so hopefully that's what I'll do. Some of my vlogs will be funny enough. People want to listen and they'll hear the good stuff when I get to the meat of whatever. I, I have gotten positive feedback already. Like this weekend at church, yes, yesterday at church, 
two people came up to me and said they'd seen my my vlogs, and one of them, I don't know him. I can't remember who he is. Um, but if he saw that, he'd be like, oh, feel that know me, but I really I can't remember him. Um, it's over ten minutes. Hopefully, hopefully this posts to YouTube. If not, then I'll just post to Facebook. I don't. I, I don't I don't know how it works now. These okay, bye.